as we said, this is causing a lot of buzz tonight. 10 TV's Adam King is here to break it all down for us with some of the reaction that we're seeing tonight. Yeah, you can say shocked, stunned, confused. Those are just a few of the words players are using to describe the news from the PGA today. I mean, exactly one year ago this week, Live Golf teed off for its first tournament, and now it's played its last. It's not often you get news that changes a professional sport in its entirety, but that's exactly what today's merger is. Between the PGA and Live, well, this is something completely new. And throughout all the players that left Live to join the PGA, one thing rang true. The rule, if you leave, you could never come back to the PGA. Well, that is now wiped away as players like Brooks Kepka, Cam Smith, and Phil Mickelson will have their chance to earn their tour card again. And just this past week during the Memorial Tournament, Jack Nicholas, he said he didn't even think these guys were in the sport of golf anymore, but it sounds like they will be back in the PGA. We have some reaction here on our tag board from different players. Phil Mickelson, he's on the live tour. He said, awesome day today. Colin Morkow, this is where a lot of the frustration came in for players. They learned the same way you and I did through the news, through Twitter. Colin Morkow is saying, I love finding out morning news on Twitter. Right now, the players are concluding a players only meeting on the PGA Tour. To learn more about that, you can see all of their reactions on 10tv.com. We did just get a statement from Jack Nicholas saying, quote, I agree that this is good for the game of golf. Jay, speaking of Jay Monahan, the commissioner, indicated this will all happen in 2024. So very soon the proof will be in the pudding. Whatever is best for the game of golf enjoys my full support. So you see kind of a swing from Jack. You see kind of a swing from a lot of these guys. Yeah. Obviously, PGA players, very, very frustrated, mm -hmm. especially those that didn't leave to go to the live tour because that was always the thing. If you leave, you can never come back. But you'd have to hope that this wouldn't unify again because there was a lot of distraction between the two leagues and then, you know, some players feeling like they're outcasts since they decided to leave the PGA to go make more money with live. Well, and the interesting thing is throughout all of this, That's on camera, there was a lot of disdain, a lot of questions being asked to these golfers. Behind closed doors, they were golfing together. They were their mm. friends and they still are a lot of them. The, the good news what for people. It was a money grab, though. It was. Liv came in, you know, yes. swinging the checkbook around. Now, if <laughs> and you're you get it, you know, yeah. you get it, but. If you're wondering how this impacts Columbus, well, the Memorial Tournament will have their reaction coming up, and there is a good chance you could see Brooks Kepka back at the Memorial. You could see Phil Mickelson, Kim Smith, all of them back in Columbus next summer. Mm. So. Mm. Mm. I wonder if they'll have any, uh, I guess, clap back from the guys who stayed. The there were some booze coming during right. that PGA championship at Brooks. Uh, a lot yeah, of sure. golf fans not happy. So All right. we'll see how this all plays out. Thank you, Adam.